हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट योर न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर एट हिस्ट्री योर चैप्टर नेम इज द विजयनगर एंड द बमनी किंगडम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई गिव यू द इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट योर चैप्टर आफ्टर द डिक्लाइन ऑफ द चोला एम्पायर स्मॉल किंगडम्स केम अप इन साउथ इंडिया ग्रेजुअली दे केम under the authority of the delhi sultanate the sultanate could not keep them under its control for long when sultans became weak two independent kingdoms emerged in south india the first one was vijayanagar kingdom and the time duration is given 1336 ad and the second was the bamni kingdom and their time duration is given 1347 ad so today we will start about the vijayanagar kingdom its foundations now look at this picture these are two brother his name was harihara and bukkarai the vijayanagar empire was founded by two brothers harihara and bukkarai in 1336 ad on the bank of the river tungbhadra at this time sultan mohammad bin tughlaq was ruling delhi both brother declared their independence from the delhi sultanate and conquered many areas to expand their dominions the empire reached far south and included the present territories of tamil nadu and mysore the empire rose to its zenith in 18th century during the reign of krishna dev rai the empire lasted for over 230 years from 1336 to 1565 AD and was ruled by the following three dynasty in your book three dynasty name is given the dynasty sorry the sangama dynasty the saluva and the tulu so first of all i will give you the little bit introduction about this dynasty number 1 is given the sangam dynasty This is a picture of Sangam dynasty. The Sangam dynasty was the first dynasty to reign over Vijayanagar. Harihara and Bukkarai, founder of the Vijayanagar Empire, belonging to this dynasty. Now the next one is. This is a picture of Sulu dynasty, where military commanders who took over Vijayanagar and remained in power till fifteen hundred. 3 CE now the next one is tulva dynasty came to power after the sulu krishna dev rai was its most famous ruler let's study about krishna dev rai in greater detail krishna dev rai time period is given 1509 to 1530 CE This is a statue of Krishna Dev Rai. Krishna Dev Rai ruled from fifteen hundred nine till fifteen hundred twenty nine C. He is considered as one of the greatest ruler of the Vijayanagar Empire. He had to compete with his successor of the Bamni Kingdom and Odisha. After fighting for seven years. he forced odisha to return the conquer areas of vijayanagar up to the krishna river he also attacked raipur and mudghal he defeated the sultan of bijapur in the year of 1520 ce and forced him to move back beyond the krishna river he conquered belgam as well as bijapur 
with this vijayanagar empire became one of the strongest kingdoms of the deccan now next is given great architect and scholar krishna dev rai himself was a great scholar he was specialist in telugu and sanskrit and wrote several books in both the languages out of the books written by him only a book on politics in telugu and a sanskrit play is available presently he was a also very fond of poetry and used to patronize telugu kannada and tamil poets he then his great work amukta maleda in which explained how a king should rule he was good architect also he built a new sub urban town near vijayanagar and constructed a large water tank for irrigation purposes so according to your chapter i give you four to five important question you have to write in your running notebook so next class we will understand about his administrations about his social economic conditions so on thank you